So I seen this post on Instagram and it was talking about a new swimsuit that has launched. And I looked at it and I was like, okay, it's a little, you know, ruffled a little bit, you know, runched or whatever. I was like, okay, what's so significant about said swimsuit? Apparently it was inspired by Rosa Parks. Hmm. I don't see any fist, afro pics, images of her on there or anything. Anything black related. It is just a blush pink. Let's go to the website, y'all. So this is just a blush pink swimsuit. And of course they sell it separately. Sold out in all sizes. Okay, light pink. Here's this one and here is the bottom, okay? Hot pink is what they call it here, but light pink is what they call it here, whatever. All right. Um, now you may say, Alex, how are you getting that this is Rosa Parks inspired? Who was saying this tomfoolery? Okay, now first this is from Divino Seas. Very expensive, $45. Okay, we got $45 plus, that's for the top. Then we got $36. $36 is $81. The original price was $72. And let's come over here. And $90. Huh. $162 and $81 now. Okay. Now, is that half off? Looks like it's half off. Yep. So you may say, Alex, this just says rose light pink top. And this one says rose light pink bottom, even though it says hot pink down here, but whatever. Where are you getting this information? Inspired by the woman whose righteous rebellion against apartheid style segregation in the United States sparked the civil rights movement of the 1960s. In honor of Rosa Parks, Davino Seas has included this artisan inspired salute to Halt Couture in the domain of luxury swimwear. Rosa, Rose, Rosa, Rosa Parks, is meticulously designed with a divinity in the details. Every element in the constellation of the composition contributes to the set seductive, seductive, yet stately gravitas. Huh, available in sea salt and light pink. What about this? Then they say a model is wearing size extra small, but you don't see it. Anyways, what about this? Adam, and maybe I'm missing something. I have my glasses on, but I could be missing something. But I don't see Rosa Parks in any of, the, in any of this. You said that it has dominion and details, whatever. Seductive. I guess I'm confused. What about this image screams seductive you got the bottoms and it's the same you know same description here what about showing booty cheeks and having this all up in your booty and in your hoo-ha your couchy is what i like to say what about this screams rosa parks Hello, hello, hello. We are going to be taking a little bit of a break in this video and I'm just going to show you some of the products that I personally sell from Latrice Limited. Right here, this is the nice sage and vanilla. As you can see, this is a wood wick candle. Oh my goodness, smells amazing. This is the Midnight Forest one uh, for our soaps, handmade soaps, and they smell absolutely amazing. This one could be more for your man in your life, okay? Because it has like kind of like a musk kind of scent, hence the name Midnight Forest, okay? I also have these two lovely bath bombs right here and right over here in this pretty little shopping cart that I have are my handmade essential oil blends. I have two types, one for pain, one for sleep. I also wanna show you two different masks that I have. This one, boom. And here is the other silk and it comes with the bag. You take it right out of the bag, has a cute little scrunchie for your hair and boom, boom, boom. Okay, 
Now, let's just go and look at that pretty little website. So as you can see right here, latricelimited.com, okay? Double L's over here, Sweet Roses Candle, welcome to Latrice Limited. And you can see the different kinds of products that I have. And this is your girl right here with that big forehead being covered up, okay? I wanna show you, this is one that I was showing earlier, Sweet Pea Harmony. And then Enchanted Petal Dance is the other one that I was showing. This is the Midnight Forest Soap, okay? Here are also some soaps that I have, as you can see right here just a large variety of different soaps we are going to go over to the gift sets so you see different a large variety different combinations of gift sets if you want to just go and give them the big one over here boom so you don't have to put any kind of thinking into it just click and buy so definitely check out the website latricelimited.com support your girl support the website now let's get back into this video so that's the thing and from my understanding this is not a black owned company either and i also wonder since you're saying this is inspired by rosa parks as well you know how disney if you put the mouse on anything the mouse is gonna get you okay so i guess i'm confused are you paying the the family of rosa parks naacp anything any kind of black organization are you giving donations a certain percentage 50%, you know, 40% of the proceeds that is check notes originally 162 or $81 now on sale. Are you giving any of these proceeds to any kind of black organization? Because on the website, it doesn't say anything about that. So I guess I'm confused. If you think about it with segregation and everything, black people, we had our own water fountains, which were always less desirable they always looked worse than what the white people had okay black people wanted to get in a swimming pool white man there's a famous image of it i'll put it up if i remember throws acid in the pool because now it's so tainted by black people even though now you could go into a public pool and now it's untainted it's not tainted at all but it was somehow so i find that to be interesting we couldn't even be in a pool with y'all because we were so terrible and so dirty. But you got swimsuits inspired by Rosa Parks. I mean, if you put roses, a design like maybe the bottom looks like, I don't know, Central Park in the top, you know, was black and red, you know, for blood and skin tone was uh, ro uh, roses. You know, maybe the black background and then you have like some cute little red roses going around and, you know, the, the, the bottoms were black and then you had like Central Park or, you know, something. I mean, it would be, you know, in the South, but if you had like a cute, nice, pretty park somewhere, okay, sure. But then you would have to then give proceeds because where is this money going? That's also another thing. Um, I remember I was in class and this is a little off topic, but I remember I was in a class cause I graduated in community health and we were actually talking about like, uh, going pink, the breast cancer stuff, right. And how you had five hour, five hour energy, you know, you had rib joints, uh, everyone was going pink and it's like, okay, so this money, Susan G. Coma, she should be good to go with the money, right? These people weren't giving anything to anyone. Not saying all, but many of them didn't. And if they did, it was barely anything, it was hardly anything. So it made you wonder, well, why are you putting all this going pink if you're not really for the cause? You're just trying to make some more sales. I get business is business, but you're just trying to make more sales at this point. You're not really for the cause, right? So with this, with the check notes 81 and 162, are you really for the cause for helping black people since you are using Rosa Parks' name? Or are you just simply trying to make money from people? Okay, I actually wanna take you all to a, a Twitter post that I saw. This is the one that we were looking at earlier. Okay, Daily Lout, swimwear brand reveals Rosa Parks inspired bikini and sparks social outrage. I just wanted to go and look at some of the comments down below from what people um have 
said all right and it says <laughs> someone said it's the front of bus back of that you know what collection this is the type type of thing that should cause a brand to go out of business and that's the thing that's something i 100 percent agree with something as disrespectful as this come on man and I, hey, I don't know who's buying from this place. This is the first time I've heard of this. So I don't know. But y'all, if you are for black people, if you are, if you are black, and hopefully you're for black people, you need to stop buying from this place. Period. Okay. Heck, and I know even on a very small scale for me, I remember when Victoria's Secret was doing some crazy stuff and I said... I'm not doing this. Oh, real quick. Rosa Park did not say no for this. What a shame. Okay. Even on a small scale for me. Okay. And I remember it was Victoria's Secret. They were doing, they were just doing weird stuff. Okay. They were having different kinds of models up there. And I'm like, what is this? And then they didn't have, you know, they were just doing some weird stuff for me. All right. I get you may be like, what about Weinstein and Epstein and connections? Okay i get that okay but they're also connected to a lot of stuff anyways or were but what i was thinking i was like you know what i really like me some victoria's secret i got me some cute little uh boy short um they look like you know men's boxes but for women i was like oh these things are nice and comfortable i got like some cute panties and whatnot and all this other stuff um but for a while I was like, you know what? One, I need to save some money. But I was like, two, you know what? I'm done. I'm, I'm going to just take a break from y'all, okay? And it also bothered me when I went and watched their fashion show, the latest one, which wasn't a fashion show at all, um, that they had on Amazon. I was like so unimpressed by all that. So for me, I was just like, you know what? Y'all not really for me. I see y'all for everything else and everyone else because everything y'all doing is all over the place and guess what they started losing money they started losing a lot of money to the point where they're like you know what oh Giselle Tyra Banks can y'all oh y'all don't want to come back oh uh maybe we need to go back to what worked because y'all trying all this new stuff and by trying to appease everyone you're really appeasing no one so it's like, or other people that you are appeasing, make up 2%, 5%, maybe 10% of your market. And then you have your regular people that's going to still buy. But of the people who you're trying to um, represent, they're only taking up maybe 10%. And then now you just lost about 40% of people because they're like, ah, okay, y'all doing some weird stuff. I'm out. Uh-oh, now you're out of money. So what do you do? Go back to what was working, okay? But you have to, what ended up happening, people stop buying. And they're like, okay, we're losing a lot of money. We're just gonna go back. <laughs> Y'all didn't see anything, okay? Let's just go back to what was working, okay? Let's pretend like nothing happened. And that's what they had to do. Something like this should be something where people are saying, you know what? Y'all doing some weird stuff. Y'all are just trying to, you know, grab that money. Y'all don't care about who you could hurt. You're not caring about the history of black people. None of that stuff. You know what? And even with that description, it was so like, okay, let's add in a sprinkle of history, but let's just make it kind of avant-garde, you know, and extra bougie. And this didn't even, the design I had just said sounded much better than this. You know, so I'm just like, y'all don't even seem like you would even be giving back to the black community in any way, shape, or form, but you're okay with profiting from it. That's the issue that I have with it. Of people who support this, like who actually buy from them, I just found out about the company, so. And they look like they're out of my price range, so <laughs> I was never a customer anyways. But of people who do, all I'm gonna say is just be wary. Just look and be like, okay, if it does not match your values, don't buy Oh, but that swimsuit is cute. Get it from Shein or Fashion Nova. They got the same thing on there and it's much cheaper. <laughs> okay. But let me know what you all think down below.